Hi there, welcome to another Gem Blenders card spotlight video. Today I wanted to talk about back position heroes and go over some blends that use back position effects. Uh, I'll probably go more in depth into these cards in other videos, um, but they all use back position effects and I thought this would be a fun opportunity to talk about them. As I mentioned in the how to play video, back position heroes usually play a supportive role because they can't attack your opponent but they still can use effects. Um, so it's really important to have strong back position heroes in your deck if you want to make sure you're using all your resources to their fullest. So these cards will be very important to consider when you're building a deck. So I'll start here with uh, Royal Buzzer. Uh, Royal Buzzer is a level 4 blend. It uses a Terra Gem, Electro Gem, Lucio Gem, and Aero Gem. 2 attack, 2 defense, and its effect is Royal Command. While in back position, plus one attack to your frontline heroes, and once per turn, you may switch the position of one frontline hero. Its four antenna communicate with its drones, organizing them in protective formations. You'll get that plus one wall of attack across the board, which is great, and you're also able to change the position of your heroes to, to, in a way that makes it most effective. So that's awesome, and it also has two attack, two defense, so it's even useful on the frontline if that becomes necessary. Uh, the next one I'll look at is Ice Creamer. Ice Creamer is also a level 4 blend. Aqua, Cryo, Lucio, and Capro Gems. Uh, it has 0 attack, 2 defense, and its effect is Churn. While in back position, plus 1 defense to your frontline heroes, and once per turn you may direct an attack of 1 frontline hero to any of an opponent's frontline heroes regardless of position. The powerful substance it produces is renowned for intensifying a gem blender's power. It's a cool card, kind of based off of ice cream, as you can see with its two horns. Um, and it has a really good effect too. You get that defense wall, similar to how Royal Buzzer gives an attack wall. Um, but in Ice Creamer's uh, case, you're able to direct an attack um, without changing position of one of your frontline heroes to any of your opponent's frontline heroes. So that becomes super useful because you're able to get two attacks on, you're able to potentially get two attacks on your opponent's weakest defense. Uh, moving on, I'll talk about Fleet Reacher. Fleet Reacher is a level 5 blend, Pyrogem, Cryogem, Electro, Nocturna, and Aerogem. 2 attack, 2 defense. Its effect is Blitzkrieg. While in back position, your frontline may attack up to 2 times per turn. The attacks must be carried out consecutively. Using an internal radar, it strategically organizes aerial attackers to maximize attack force. So this is, the f this is uh, one of the two, I believe, two level 5 blends that uses a back position effect. Uh, Fleet Reacher has 2 attack, 2 defense, so it's not completely useless on the front line, even though a level 5 blend, a 2 2 is, is not super useful, um, given how many gems you need to have on it. Um, but its effect is very good if you're able to uh, pair it with a high attacker. Um, get, getting those two consecutive attacks, uh, basically, it's, just, it's like a weaponize every turn. Um, so Fleet Reacher is definitely someone to consider if you're able to build a deck around it. Next ones I'll look at, I'll look at Garden Sprout and Lush Keeper together. Um, they're both back position heroes with a similar gem composition. Uh, Garden Sprout, level 3 blend, uses an Aqua Gem, Terra Gem, and Lucio Gem. Zero attack, zero defense, and its effect is Cultivate. While in back position, once per turn, you may declare one hero on your front line. Plus two attack to that hero, and minus four defense to an opposite position hero of that hero for the duration of your turn. Horticulture experts use this blend to tend to enormous gardens. I love Garden Sprout. It's a level 3 blend, so it's one of the lower level um, back position blends. Uh, so it's fairly easy to get out, and it's also pretty good. Um, you get that 2 attack, uh, but you also get the minus 4 defense. So it's near impossible for your opponent to defend against the 2 attack you're gaining from Garden Sprout. Uh, so that, the combination of lowering the defense plus the attack is really nice. It's super consistent. Um, and then there's also Lush Keeper. You same gems, you add an arrow gem. And this has a really, really powerful effect. Zero attack, zero defense. The effect is Nourish Scent. While in back position, treat each frontline hero as if it has one Aqua Gem, one Terra Gem, and one Lucio Gem. This effect does not count as an equip, and gems added in this way cannot be moved between heroes, have their type changed, or discarded for any reason. Tropical greenhouses rely on lush keepers to maintain a variety of exotic plants. So that, that effect is a lot to take in, um, but essentially it's an it's a invisible gem effect. Uh, it's detailed in the rule book, um, and I'll probably make a video about invisible gems eventually, but invisible gems are a great uh, mechanic in the game, because you're able to get, you're essentially able to get 
multiple gems on the field without actually playing gems. And Lush Keeper is, is the biggest example of that actually, because you're able to get nine gems out on the field just by playing Lush Keeper on the field. Um, and those nine gems, each, each of your frontline heroes will have an Aqua Gem, Terra Gem, and Lucio Gem. That's great because you're able to do that all in one turn, so it's like a super gem rush. The downside of having a Lush Keeper is if, if your opponent does anything to either block this effect or change Lush Keeper's position, all those gems go away immediately. And then all the blends you have because of those invisible gems will go away immediately too. So it's a, it's a risky move using a Lush Keeper at times, but if you have ways to defend yourself, um, then, then you can pull it off, but it's, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, I love Lush Keeper, uh, and Invisible Gems are one of, one of my favorite mechanics in the game. Uh, moving on to, I'll go over Cannon Boomer next. Uh, Cannon Boomer uses an Aqua Gem, Terra Gem, Pyro Gem, and Nocturna Gem. Zero attack, zero defense again, and its effect is Wrecking Beam. While in back position once per turn, if you equip a hero with four gems of the same type during your turn, you may discard those four gems and inflict 20 damage to an opponent's HP. This hero must be equipped with the four gems while the blend is active. Construction crews use cannon boomers to demolish large buildings. So that's cannon boomer, really cool effect, seemingly very powerful effect, but it's also an effect that's very hard to do. So you're able to get that 20 damage only if you're able to play four gems of the same type on cannon boomer in one turn. There's, there are a few ways to go about that. Um, since you can only play your allotted gem once per turn, uh, you have to get those three other gems uh, from a, some other way. There are certain hero effects that let you organize the gems on your field so you'll be able to uh, equip the three gems that way. Uh, there's also certain blend effects that let you organize. There's action cards that let you transfer gems over. Um, so there are various ways to do that. Um, but even more than getting the gems on him, it's hard to get uh, four gems of the same type. So there's kind of like two hurdles in, or in order to get Cannon Boomer to function properly. Um, and if you're able to pair Cannon Boomer with like an Amplify uh, or some other way to double effect damage, then it becomes extremely powerful because then it turns into 40 damage or possibly even 80 damage if you're able to get two Amplifies or two ways of doubling the effect damage. So a really cool card um, and you definitely have to have a deck that centers around Cannon Boomer in order, in order to have it functioning properly. Last one I'll go over is Ion Boomer. It's a level 5 blend, uses a Terra Gem, Pyro Gem, Electro Gem, Lucio Gem, and Capro Gem. Zero attack, three defense. Its effect is Atomic Blast. At the end of your turn, while in back position, you may deblend this hero and double all non attack damage dealt to an opponent during this turn. Small scale nuclear reactions occur in its arm cannon. Once unleashed, it results in devastation. So, really cool card, powerful um, if used properly. In order to get Ion Banger to work properly, you have to have a way to get non-attack damage on your opponent, because that's the, that's the only damage that Ion Banger can double. Um, and in order to de-blend him, you have to have him in back position. So there are a couple uh, steps you have to go through in order for Ion Banger to work, but it's really good because you can pair Ion Banger with an Amplify, and then it turns into times four. Uh, so that, that's, like, that's, that's very powerful. Um, but you have to have ways to go about it. So definitely think about that when you're uh, thinking about building decks um, because Iron Banger can be very good. So yeah, those those are all the cards I wanted to go through today. Um, back position heroes I like to think are one of the quintessential mechanics of gem blenders. Um, and they're really they're really fun to use. There's a there's a lot of position effects uh, throughout um, all of the blends. Back position effects are often super unique and fun to uh, try to make work. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Let me know uh, in the comments which blends might be your favorite, which blends you might want to make a deck around. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.